coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, Crockett becomes obsessed with a serial burglar in the Halloween episode, Shadow in the Dark. On This Week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from October 27th to November 2nd, 1986, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on November 1st, a fire at the Sandoz Agrochemical Storehouse in Basel Landschaft, Switzerland, would release toxic chemicals into the Rhine, draining into the North Sea, causing massive wildlife deaths downstream and turning the river red. Approximately 30 tons of pesticides would be discharged into the river. Salmon wouldn't return to the river until 1997, and the Rhine 2020 program aims to make the river clean enough to swim. In music, True Colors holds the top spot on the Billboard Hot 100 for one more week. Rising up the charts and peaking at number four is the pop rock song Take Me Home Tonight by Eddie Money. From the album Can't Hold Back, the song would bring a comeback for both Money and Ronnie Spector. The song would be nominated for a Grammy and is a quintessential 80s rock track. In movies, you guessed it, Crocodile Dundee is still topping the box office. Also playing in theaters is the spy comedy Jumpin' Jack Flash, starring Whoopi Goldberg. The film does have quite the cast, though, including Jim Belushi, John Lovitz, Phil Hartman, Annie Potts, and more. It was also the first movie directed by Penny Marshall. You may recognize Penny as one of the co-stars from the TV classic Laverne and Shirley. She has also directed some classic movies, including Big, Awakenings, and A League of Their Own. Unfortunately, Jumpin' Jack Flash was not well received panned both by critics and moviegoers. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show at GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals. Bye.